If you want to stick around, uh, we'll do the Q&A. I'll answer all your questions, and we'll have a fun time. <laughs> it's all, it is, this is probably my, my most favorite part of the whole show. But that's it. If you had to get out of here, get out of here. I appreciate you coming by on a Tuesday and just hanging out with me for 20 minutes. I do like that. But that's it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Let's get into a little Q&A. Darth Mike. What's it showing between friends? I'm still waiting for that T-shirt from Ben. Uh, we'll see. Hello, Lexi. Darth Mike. Very funny. Let me go up. I think I missed. Uh, yeah, I missed all of them. So, Ah. Uh, Mr. Hogan's channel is called Legal Briefs. All right. Everybody can search for that. Again, uh, go to the experts. Uh, I'm not the expert on that one. Uh, Hogan does a great job. Deaton does a great job. Have to check them out. They've got a lot better information than I have. Amy Softball says, my best guess is 75 basis points, but the market might react stronger to the many countries also raising their rates. Well, yeah, the UK just recently did themselves. So, <laughs> afternoon, ladies. <laughs> Hello, Tommy V. Hello, Corey. Hello, not mean. I got to hold on. There we go. David says, let's get it. Happy Tuesday. Oh, it's from me. Hello, friends. Hey, Rob. Shannon Miller. Wrench me. Next time, Shannon. And Ah, well, First Coast Crypto is here. Let's see. Getting some Iowa, Argentina. Well, that's a, that's a wide swath of coverage. But we'll take it. Hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Mr. Wolf says Sweden raised the rate by an entire 100 basis points today. If this happens in the U.S., the market will go into complete terminal. Yes, Mr. Wolf is correct, and I'm hoping that actually happens. 100 basis points would be awesome. Why? Because it would drive everything down. I mean, you can get things pretty cheap. Like, like, I don't really think about it. There's a notification on my phone that happens every day around 7.15 in the morning, which says your dollar cost average of these specific cryptos have been, has been executed. One of those is uh, Bitcoin. Another one is Ethereum. Another one is Near. Another one is uh, Cardano. There's a couple of ones I do too. I know Ben will say, you gotta take a cold shower because they're gonna be lower. He's probably right, but I just like to hedge. Ah, Corey says, Robbie with CTO last was great. Isn't CTO such a smart guy, nice guy. It's so nice to know there's other real estate people out there. There are. He is a good guy. That's why I have him on. And he's, uh, he brings some, some relevance here. Tom says, I'm thinking 75 basis points. I got to agree with Tom. I think that's the safe bet. But I got to, you know, imagine three, four months ago, 75 basis points, everybody was, was saying 50 for sure. And all of a sudden, after uh, that Jackson Hole uh, conference where Jerome Powell came, stood up and, and said Volcker probably five or six times, and said he's going to keep on with, with doing what he's doing and raise those rates, it was like, ooh, maybe he's, maybe he's, he's, uh, he's real this time. And then, uh, and then people in like the bond market are like, he's full of it. He's not going to do it. We'll see. We will see. BlackRock is my landlord. That's the one thing that concerns me, is these, these big, uh, enormous institutions are buying up all these, these houses. And there's a great video by a uh, guy from Coin Bureau talking about you'll own nothing and be happy and what it all comes down to. This is the scary uh, outcome I think that could be. These big institutions have everything, you rent for a low rate, you don't own absolutely nothing, and they keep everything. It scares the hell out of me. Yeah, that's true. Do... <laughs> Tall Cigar says, should I buy Bitcoin today or tomorrow? I can't give Tall Cigars any advice. I can just tell you what I do, I buy every day. Um, but remember, I buy crypto, but I also sell crypto. And there's a big distinction. I'm trying to get away from that nonsense of, okay, buy, 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 and then never talk about selling. The, there's a video on Saturday I just did, which uh, kind of outlines when I sell and why I'm selling and at what points I'm going to sell. But make no mistakes, I am selling. I am not a diamond hander. I'm not holding forever to give to my grandkids so they can waste it on something. Uh, I'm just not going to do that. I made all the money. They got to make money. I'll help them out, but come on. 
and Mark Gallagher. Any sweat coin news? Well, I'm glad you asked. No, not really. There's not really much going on. The price is going down in sweat coin, so that's what it is. Uh, I don't know what this is. Ah, here we go. Little uh, little background. My builder still has quite a few new builds in the backlog, mainly because trains are extremely slow due to lack of workers. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. The the uh, uh, worker pool, uh, you know, it's very hard. I mean, everybody I talk to, it's hard to. And I was talking to um, uh, a gentleman at my, at my facility, and he was talking about how he, he's just a, a gig economy worker. He drives for Uber. And he says he makes 2,000 bucks uh, every week. And this is, this is in El Paso. El Paso. And he said, yeah, I make two, two grand a week. And, uh, you know, I, I am my own boss, do whatever I want to do. And uh, I can go on vacation when I want to. He goes, why would I go back to my old job? I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Makes sense to me. Uh, get, your, get your shorts on at 155 tomorrow. Tesla. I don't know about that. I can't even say that one. Darth Mike we will probably have more volatility on the last Friday of the month uh, when futures options expire. I always forget about that one. Uh, usually on the last Friday of the month, but at the moment, I think there are more shorts. I got to tell you, a couple of days ago, I think we had over 400 million in shorts liquidated. <laughs> Is Doquan hiding in Ian Bellina's shed? That's a good one. I like Ian. I know some people say, ah, he's, he showed me this, he showed me that. Look, you can say that for every social media person that puts themselves out there, including myself. You think, you think I'm, I'm guilt-free? How many times did I talk about Bitcoin going to 150,000? How many times did I talk about Ethereum going to 10,000? How many times did I talk about Voyager, VGX, going to $30 per token? It's true, I did. But I also said, on investment advice, this is what I'm doing. Be careful. And I think people just, just got away from him. That's really what it comes down to. So did I, should I have sold more? I should have sold more. Did I sell? I didn't sell more. And that's just the truth. And uh, do I have crypto locked up on Voyager and Celsius? Absolutely, I do. Which, speaking of which, we will be doing a Twitter Spaces. Uh, me and Simon Dixon and the guys from uh, the Celsius... Celsius squeeze something or other. Uh, they're very active on Twitter. And uh, they've been very vocal about they don't like the way that uh, Simon has come in and, and uh, given different options. And they think that he has his own agenda and he's trying to buy everything on the cheap. So I said, you know what? Let's all get together and talk about it because I'm sick of this going around thing. Let's just get everything on the table and say exactly what it is. And then we can move forward and we can get the community behind one specific thing. That's it. I'm getting old, man, and I've only got so much time on this planet. I don't have time to uh, deal with the cheese man. Give me the facts, then we go from there. Uh, how's the PR house? That's eh, pretty good. It's a lot better than a lot of other people's. I was talking to Big E. People, some houses are gone. Those roofs are gone. Electricity, I think, is out in a lot of different places. That's why we talked about uh, for donations, don't give to uh, the Red Cross and the big government agencies because it's so so slow to trickle down. And we talked about there's some local agencies you can give to, one of those being Protechos, because they're, they're going to be have to build a lot of different roofs out there. And people need a lot of items that can go right now. So watch the video from yesterday. There's a link in there. Get money of them people now. <laughs> Ryan says, too many baby boomers with money. He's got a point. Uh, Noel says, crypto must go in more friendly countries. Yeah, I got to agree. Hello, bullish. Um, yeah. So Billy Bob says, uh, news, if there was a ca catastrophic event, how can we use blockchain to transact? Now, no power, no, no Bitcoin. You know, there's a, there's a couple of different ones that you can use. One of those is Divi. You ever heard of Divi? So Divi just uses a, a text message service. So if you still have some telecommunications, you could use it uh, in, in that way. But for Bitcoin, how can you, you transact? You can't transact. But here's another thing. If you have no power or anything else, how are you going to transact with your debit card 
or your credit card or whatever else. That's why when people say cash is king, cash is still king. And uh, if you want to hide any transactions, I got to tell you, it's not with credit and debit and crypto. It's cash. Just remember that. So, yeah. What the heck? Brian says mining is, is something for now, is done for now. Solar will be a way to go. 22 cents a kilowatt hour. I shut down my, your miner, moving to 8 cents at a commercial location. Yeah, still too much. That's a lot of money. So there you go. Necessity is the mother of all invention, right? Mm, yeah, Noel says, ETH now is a U.S. product under the SEC. The SEC just, just asserts that. It's not that uh, there's been any law passed. Remember, the SEC's job is not to make the law. The SEC's job is to enforce the law that has been laid out by lawmakers. There is nothing underneath there that says that ETH is a U.S. product. It doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what the, one of the, uh, the wordings were in the, in the Wells, whatever, to uh, Ian Bellina, the Wells notice. <laughs> Calm down, Billy Ba. A cash drug event would probably mean you don't need nothing of value. Hey, look, I, I was raising a farm myself. We didn't have electricity either. You know, some just don't need it. Mm -hmm. be, more, be more bearish, would you? Oh, I can try. Look, I'm just a realist. I, I still think there's a, we have had a long, long road ahead of us and it's gonna be bumpy and it's gonna suck. And it's not gonna be a lot of like to the moon Lambos and stuff like that. It's gonna be a while. And um, you know, it's just the same thing I did in 2018, 2019. I think some of you were here with me. Well, not here in the channel. Channel started in 2020, I think. So again, if things go down, I'm just, I'm just dollar cost averaging. Oh, and speaking of which, have you guys seen this website? DCA-CC.com. I want to see what I'm showing you. DCA-CC.com. It's kind of like DCABTC.com, but you can do it with the top 100 cryptos and pick a time frame. So like, I'm just going to show you what I did. So like 100, eh, about 100 bucks a week, right? 100 bucks a week. That might be super expensive for some people. Some people, it's like, that's nothing. So we'll just go 100 bucks. Uh, let's see. Let's pick, uh, I started around 2018. January? Eh, summer, middle of the month, something like that. And then let's put it today. So 100 bucks a week, we'll calculate that. And what I like about this is that it'll show you like the average price during this whole time. And it'll see, you see in the bottom right-hand corner, it says ROI. Like you gotta understand that you're, you're sucking wind for a long time. The ROI, it's like you're down, you're down, you're down, you're down. Let me just show you this one. This is, this is the one I like. This was me, just dollar cost averaging the Cardano. Down, down, down. <laughs> My friend's going, you're stupid. Why are you doing this? I'm like, I think it's gonna do well. And then of course I'm down and down and down. 2019, still down. Just plugging away. Now, to be honest, there was a couple of weeks I'm like, man, I'm, this, this isn't work. I'm giving a towel. Then I would come right back because another upgrade, something happening, and I would come back, and then as time went on. So, like, if I would have sold, I'm pretty good. And that's, so I invested 19100 and you get 685000 That's not bad. Am I saying that's going to happen to everybody? No, I'm just saying that's what's you know, could be if you sold the top. Here's a hot news flash. I've never sold the top. Ever. But uh, just go to that's the, So the website again is dca-cc.com. Interesting. And you can do all the ones. So you can kind of just see it. I like those because it kind of gives you visualization. But there is one thing that is super important in that one. That is that, did you see the very top, the 600, whatever thousand it was? But you see after that, how the price went down a ton it's because you've got to make sure that you sell at some point. Don't forget that. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. Not financial advice. If you want to hold on forever, it's fine. 
That's a great question, man. When solar power in Puerto Rico? When I get down there, maybe we should talk about that and uh, putting our efforts into doing those types of things. <laughs> it is. One butter knife. That's a different time. Um, let's see, where do we go? Oh, so, Rao, I don't mean to be off topic. Didn't you recently buy a home in Puerto Rico? Yeah. Do you know how your home is doing? Yes. Uh, we have uh, property managers that deal with it. They say everything's okay. Um, there's a problem with, with a uh, shower nozzle or something, but not too bad. Let's see. Buy the... EOS is going to the moon, to the moo. I don't, maybe, you know, Beardy would like to hear that. Ah, uh, hello? Oh, there's another one, ZZ. There's a Bitcoin miner satellite in space. Just connect to the satellite to transact in Bitcoin. You know, my favorite question though is, but what about an, an EMP, Rob, an electromagnetic pulse? I'm like, I've been on this planet almost 50 years. And I've never gone through those. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, I hope... Cryptomatics, I hope XRP goes to zero. I don't. I still have some XRP. Nick says, Rob, are you DC or winning tomorrow? Nick, and this was a great, because what I used to do, and it worked out pretty well for the most part, is I would wait until the announcement, and then I would just see what Jerome Powell said. If it was in line with what people thought and the markets rallied, then I would buy immediately, and then I would just wait for the things to go up. Uh, but then I would also, if it went the opposite way, like, last time I think it was, and he was so aggressive, I would just wait and then wait for the, the market to drop. And I would pick a point and go, oh, that sounds pretty good, go in there. Worked out great the last two or three times, but this one I didn't get into it. I got a lot of things going on, so I just let things go. I may, I will, no, not may, I will. If he, if Drum comes out and says 100 basis points and things just tank, I will do what's called dynamic DCAing and buy a little bit more so I can cash out more later. Ah, JH says, Rob, you've inspired me to start a YouTube channel. Fantastic. I just got into crypto to hide the bull run and I'm almost, I'm down almost my entire portfolio. Sounds exactly like me. Got into it in 2017, lost running for 85, 90%. And I still was too damn stubborn to get going. <laughs> Captain Obvious, Rob, very funny. That's a good one, David. We are due for a mini bull rally tomorrow, perhaps. Ah, that's a good question. But if we do, I might be selling some. A little bull rally would be nice, especially as we've hang, hung around 18K. And uh, yeah. Black Rock is everyone's lord. That's the truth. Money is uh, the greatest disadvantage. John says, Rob, wouldn't it make sense for Celsius to give us our crypto back when the market tanks? Imagine Bitcoin at 9,000. It'd be cheaper to give it back. <sighs> Depends on where the funds are coming from. I mean, where is their, my question is, where is their liquidity? As I was taking a look at the financials, uh, not too long ago, they were supposed to run the money in October. And all of a sudden, money magically appeared and they have operating expenses all the way till 2023. And that's just the operating expenses. The question that I have is, first of all, Where'd all the crypto go? That'd be interesting. And the second of all is cash on hand. What do you have? And uh, how much do you have available to fill that hole? Because the hole is over a billion dollars. So it's a good question. <laughs> CTO Larson needs wrenches. He does. Uh, Pioneer. Better trade than eat the... I don't know. Uh, maybe. Celsius short squeeze. You know, I just don't understand the short squeeze. I can understand the initial parts of it where people really like, we want to punish the people that punish Celsius. Okay. But then as we've dragged this on, like now who are we punishing? You know, and, and who is it all who is it all for? And from the things that I've seen, I mean, who are the heavy Celsius holders who are cashing out? They're the ones that are making the money. Just something to think about, that's all. 
<laughs> yeah, Tika says, what do you think about a sweat staking 12%? That's a pretty high. I don't know. I was just, a, to me, I don't know. I mean, it sounds pretty good, but if it's too good to be true, yeah, I don't know. The, the question I have, I don't even, I don't know this. Maybe you guys can help me, is uh, what the lockup period is. I go from there. 12% is pretty damn high. I was just, I was just surprised that near protocol was able to handle the transaction speed or all the transactions for Sweatcoin. You know, Sweatcoin is 80% of their whole transactions on chain. 80%. Um, <laughs> diamond hands never sell yeah look at that a thousand people watching today it's always good <laughs> Benji says you can still go broke taking if profits if you spend it all well that's true I can't help you after that Ah, Robin Engineer, I'd be happy to help you look for alternatives. It sounds good. Always find me on Twitter. I'm there constantly, even though I shouldn't be. Damn, Twitter is annoying. Annoyingly addictive. Another thing, if anybody has any insider information on how to get that blue check mark, I'd really like to talk to you because I've tried five times now and they keep uh, denying me. They've done that me, they deny Ben, and um, how was the other guy? I forgot. I think that's it. Wow. St 12 percent is 12 months. Whew, you got to stake for a full year. That's a long time. Mm, holy smokes, that's right. Damn it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, do you think it's stuck at six months or rough Yeah, I would draw it out after that for sure. No. So Corey says, Rob, do you use a traditional bank for your, for your home loans? So we bought cash for the, for the houses. And uh, because these were Puerto Rican properties and uh, to get a loan over there is like an act of God. So that's what it came down to. And then if anybody's curious, as far as like, like how much you can get for each crypto if you stake them and uh, the lockups and all the data. There's a great website called stakingrewards.com. And you can just, let me get this. You can scroll through here and just see like what the average rewards are. You know, Solani gets 6%. It's pretty good. Ethereum, 5%, but you got to deal with the slashing, the lockups, and whatever that happens. Avalanche is 8%. Polkadot is 14%. Cosmos, 18%. What? Sweet Merry Christmas. That's, that's, uh, that's huge. 10% for Polygon? Oh, yeah. ICP, 8%. 8% for Flow. That can't be right. 54%, you're playing with fire. EOS is 33%. Oh, what? That's what it says. Anyhow. Algorand, 8%. So if you're, you know, just look at the Axie Infinity is 61%. That's insane. If you're looking for something like that, I can't give you advice to, for which ones to do. I would definitely take a look at the lockup periods and any kind of like penalties and go from there. That's, that's insane. And if it's too good to be true, well, it usually is. Oh, yeah. And then meld, 12%. I've locked mine up though a while ago. Hmm. Did not know that. Did you see that Gemini now is a staking option for Matic? Not just Earn. Very nice. I thought Gemini would never do that. Yeah, no kidding. I'm, I need to stake it. Oh, yeah, it's locked up in Voyager. Womp, womp. <laughs> How many shares do you have on Twitter? I have not, as, not enough. Holy smokes. Bitcoin's at 18.7? Oh. Thanks. I'll speak as the people. Thank you. And that's it, everybody. Okay. So uh, today's going to be a really today. The next two weeks going to be kind of odd. So uh, stick with me because 
we do this uh, charity course for kids here in El Paso, obstacle course. And uh, I do, I, I work with the guys to do the, the construction and the marketing and getting things together. So usually I work out there in like the morning, like six in the morning till it gets too hot. And I come into the video and sometimes it gets pushed out. So just be a little patient with me. So don't expect these to be on the same time every day for the next two weeks. But that's it. So look, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Like today's video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. But that is it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, that's it for today. So thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Adios. Do, 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 do.